Hi Coronado, it's Janine from the City Manager's Office. More than 30 residents weighed in on transportation issues at the first of three public workshops asking for the community's input on how to make biking and walking safer for residents. They learned more about the new active transportation plan being prepared to address these issues, met the project team, and gave feedback on what was important for them. And don't worry, there is more to come. Two more workshops, a series of stakeholder advisory committee meetings, which also are open to the public, and online surveys will be held for this project. Finally, a walk and bike tour of Coronado will be held on Saturday, February 25th, with members of the Active Transportation Plan project team. Meet in Spreckles Park at 9.30 a.m. to join the tour and share your transportation concerns. For more information, visit the City's Active Transportation page or call 619-522-2423. The John D. Spreckles Center has some great programs in the works. So far, staff has planned a full-day charter bus trip to the Getty in Los Angeles, an outdoor adventure which includes hiking trails at Palomar Mountain and ales from a local brewery in Julian, and a fraud and scam prevention seminar. Don't forget about the Coronado Seniors Out and About program that will begin providing rides on March 1st to Coronado residents who have limited or no transportation options. For more information about these dates and the cost of the programs or to hear about the Out and About program, call 619-522-6302. The City Council this week adopted a social media policy to provide guidelines for the planning, management, and the efficient use of the City's social media sites. The City is active on Facebook, Twitter, Nixle and YouTube. Not contained within the policy, but as a companion to its development, the city manager has prepared a more robust response to comments, questions, and rumors that are posted on various social media platforms. Beginning Monday, February 27th, the Fact or Fiction Answers to Rumors and Questions page will make its debut. The page will be managed by the city manager's office. When the city becomes aware of a rumor or question circulating in the community, an appropriate clarification or answer will be posted on the page. The page can be found on the city's website under the heading Government, the News Center, or under I Want to View. The city is working to find the cause of odors reported near an 18-inch sewer main under B Avenue where odors have been detected and a leak found and repaired. A specialized contractor will begin work on Monday, February 27, to conduct a video inspection of the line so immediate repairs can be made as quickly as possible. The city is doing all it can to find the issue and make any permanent repairs to the line. Road closures and night work are anticipated to get at the line. The Coronado Public Library's After Hours concert featuring the smooth jazz of Anita Hutchison and the CBF Trio will be held Friday night, February 24th at 6.30 p.m. in the Wind Room. And on Saturday, February 25th, Leslie Crawford will present Flower Show Know How at 10 a.m. also in the Wind Room. Programs are planned year-round at the library. Earlier this week, the PBS-produced POV documentary, The Return, was shown. And as part of the Coronado Community Read Program at the library, special guests from the USC Alzheimer's Therapeutic Research Institute joined the book discussion on the immortal life of Henrietta Lacks. Visit the library's website to see what's ahead or call the library at 619-522-7390 for details about upcoming programs. And now, here's an update from Kelly Purvis on the Arts in Coronado. Thanks, Janine. The Coronado Cultural Arts Commission asked, do you have plans for this weekend? If not, we have some ideas. Join the conversation. The 2017 Coronado Community Read is in full force, and you can learn more about it on coronadoarts.com. Friday night, join the Coronado Historical Association as they present their wine and lecture series featuring George Ann Irvine from the San Diego Zoo. This beloved San Diego institution is celebrating 100 years and George Ann has lots of stories to tell. The Tony Award winning musical Peter and the Starcatcher is presented by the Coronado School of the Arts at the Coronado Performing Arts Center this weekend. Starcatcher upends the century old story of how a miserable orphan comes to be the boy who would not grow up, Peter Pan. The Coronado Flower Show is just around the corner, April 8th through 9th. Learn more about this beloved Coronado tradition from Master Gardener and past ch show chairman Leslie Crawford at 10 o'clock on Saturday in the Coronado Public Library in the Wind Room. For more information about the 2017 Coronado Community Read and all the art and culture events in our community, visit coronadoarts.com. And while you're on the site, sign up for Three on Thursday, an email in your mailbox every Thursday morning to help you plan for the weekend. Back to you, Janine. Bandit is this week's Pet of the Week. I am delighted to introduce you to Bandit. 
He's one of the best dogs that's ever come through this facility. He's 26 pounds, seven years old. We, he's a terrier mix. He's quiet, he's respectful, he's playful. Come on, he likes a treat once in a while. And we call him Bandito because sometimes you like, you like a tortilla chip sometimes. Um, he, he went on a weekend with one of our volunteers and he knows all about fast food. She stops at a fast food restaurant. He gets in her lap, looks up at the window, and gets a milk bone. She did it three times, and each time he did that. So he's a fast food kind of guy. He's available at the Coronado Animal Care Facility. His adoption fee is $125. Um, come on in and see him. Anybody who gets this dog is, is going to be delighted. Wish I could take him myself. I'm going to come home with five cats. Would you like that? Oh, five cats. I shouldn't have said that. Um, <laughs> it's all right. If you would like to set up a visit with Bandit, contact Paws of Coronado, which operates the Coronado Animal Care Facility on behalf of the city at 619-522-7371. For more information on these events and all the city's news, check out the city manager's weekly update online. Mm -hmm.